In this tutorial, we'll look at how you can create a blurry dot in the background with CSS. So if we look at the example, we can see that this background also has this yellow dot, right? This uh, circle here. Let's try adding that to, the, to our page as well. So we're gonna create uh, an empty element for that actually here in our HTML. So we're gonna create div. You can write div like this, and then you can write dot color. And if you then press tab, it will actually create the element for you and it will give you and it will give us that class right so whatever you write with a dot that will be the class right so we're going to select by class in this project because that's the common way of doing it these days so then here we can select it right by well by dot by using dot dot color so to create that uh, yellow uh, circle we can give it a height and width it's going to be pretty big a thousand pixels and it will actually be a radial gradient as it's called. So gradients in CSS are treated like background images. And so maybe you know about linear gradient, maybe you've seen that before. We also have radial gradient. So basically the position of this, how it should be positioned, should be closest side. And then we wanna get that yellowish color. We can use RGBA for that. It's gonna be 255. 230 0 0.21 that's the color that the gradient should start with and then at the end the, the color should be black so if you have all of that let's uh, save here and let's see what we get okay so now we have this um, this uh, circle here this orb now it shouldn't be positioned here it should be at the top here right so we're going to position this element a little bit differently so we're going to use position absolute because then what we can use is we can say we want this to be, well, it should actually be, well, for the majority of its size, it should actually be outside the view, right? So right up here. So we can use a negative number here of negative 570 pixels. So we're saying here it should sit negative 570 pixels from the top. The top of what? Well. What we can say here is for the body element, we can say position relative. So then the top offset will be relative to the body element, right? So if you use position absolute, you can use these offsets. Uh, usually you want to specify for which element those offsets should be relative to, right? So we also want to use left and here we'll use a percentage. The percentage is needed for uh, responsiveness. So now if we save here, it's positioned better. Right, so on your page, it may look slightly different because it depends on how wide your uh, viewport is. Now you can see if I make it even uh, less wide, we actually get this horizontal scroll bar, which is not what we want, but that's simply because this, this, uh, this element here is pretty big, right? A thousand pixels wide. So eventually it will overflow the body basically, and, it's in, and that will create this scroll bar. So we want to remove the scroll bar. So we can say here overflow, in the x direction, right, horizontal, if there is overflow, simply hide that, right? So if you do that, we won't have the scroll bar anymore. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.